What is up, world? Welcome back. Today is a beautiful day. And you know what we're doing today? We are welding the block. We got uh, Mr. DK Welding from Kissimmee, Florida. He is a popular welder in Kissimmee. And uh, he does some really good work. Back to back with a five star, well over 50, 50 plus five star rating on Google. So he's pretty cool. And uh, talked to him on the phone, has a good vibe. So here we are. It's well time, baby. I'm gonna live with that. That's nice. I was just worried about these little, the little like, these little ones breaking off and falling in, but those shits are on there. So I tried to grind it and it is on there. So, all good, all clean. I cleaned up everything. See how I uh, tied down the chain? Thanks to my uncle, my Uncle Surish. That was his idea, which was very smart. Hold the tension when you take the tension around so you zip tie the chain together. So yeah, so. Time to put the tensioner for the oil pump, for the oil chain here. And hopefully everything comes off nice and easy. So, that's where I am. And then uh, start cleaning up my edges a little bit better. And uh, get it ready to put the timing cover back on and oil pan and all that good stuff. So it's looking good. Now you already know it's always loud over here. So, uh, crank seal, bam, bam. This tool, awesome. Take that out. Okay, first time ever doing a crank seal. Some call it crank seal, some people call it front main seal. Me and Carlos late night at the shop. Let me show you what we got going on. So we got the timing cover all done. And what are we using? good old honda bond so we honda bonded the timing cover a little trick my uncle taught me you got a honda bond both sides you don't just put it one so it's kind of like contact cement if you guys ever mess with contact cement you got to put both, both put them on both sides and when that thing grabs it grabs so, so here we go <laughs> all right this is how i work okay you guys sit down all right uh, let me double check, double check, double check. I took out the zip ties. See? This is torqued. So when my OCD kicks in, I'm gonna have to take this bitch back apart. So I was like, this it didn't get a good. There we go. Right, cool. Torque it down. Alright, that's it. That's a lot of silicone, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, so here is the update. Timing cover is on. Look at that. Look at that customness right there. Anyway, you got the, the oil pan on. The only thing is this stupid bolt won't go on. I feel like it's stripped. 
So I'm gonna retap the hole really quick. Everything's torqued down. It's gotta do that last one. And uh, bring it down, let it sit even. And, oh, and put this bracket on over here and torque that down. Actually, I'm gonna do it now. All done. All right, let's check her out. So valve cup, I mean, timing cover is on. All torqued down. Got the Honda Bond, the extra Honda Bond. Got the oil pan on. And one of the bolts are going unstripped. I ended up tapping it and it went on like butter. So looking good. Just let it dry. And this time, usually I'll, I'll give it like a day and then we'll fill it with oil. No, no, no. We're giving it three days to fully cure. So I'm gonna do the valve cover. And then it's EDC time. This week is EDC Orlando. I'm not supposed to be doing nothing. So Wednesday I was supposed to stop all my projects and get ready for this this party. So good. You know, now, now I got a peace of mind. Right, so I'm gonna put the valve cover on and let that bad boy sit until Tuesday. So that's, that's well over six days for it to, to cure. And we'll go from there. So wish me luck putting this back on. I hope this doesn't leak. And if it leaks, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, just <laughs> keep your fingers crossed. Pray for me. So this is a little scratched. So I'm gonna do it. I got my 40, no, my 400 on my DA. So I'm gonna hit the surface nice and flat. And then I'm gonna give it a quick prime. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape up all this so no primer gets inside here i'm gonna tape up in here pretty much just so we just do the face prime it sand it and then uh and then i'm gonna paint gloss black all in here because over here's down to metal should get away with it this is like the fulcrum point so this is what everybody sees so this has to be nice and clean so that's the goal all right i'm in the booth just wanted to show you guys how i taped it just in case anybody wants to copy my, my uh, plan. So here we go. So that's how you're gonna tape it. Put a light coat of primer. And then I'm gonna show you how to tape it before we paint. Cause that protects the baffles on the bottom. Here we go. And we're using a regular 2K primer. So check it out. Just a nice thin coat of primer. I'm gonna sand it down. That'll give us a nice flat top. So, you look at the valve cover, it's the first thing you see. All right, check it out. Sand it down and get it ready to paint black gloss. All right, here we go. Check it out. So this is how you got to tape the bottom. And then, oops, damn it. I let me try to work with one hand. That's cool, that's fine. So this is the top. And check it out. So everything's all sanded. And I broke all my primer. Because like I said, this needs to be nice and flat. Don't worry, I'll work out all this with the paint. So that's how it looks. I'm going to tape up these holes. Doot, doot, doot. That's taped. Yeah, and then that's all I need. And we're ready to paint. All right, all done. Two coats, nice and wet. trying to create too much dust because I, I got very I got the coverage I want on the top nice and flat all right here's a little comparison side by side from plastic to metal all right got all the titanium bolts on now I have to uh, tighten it and torque it in a certain specific pattern here we go all right it is all done so spark plugs in I tightened it tightened that torqued all these down so check her out looks pretty good and this is painted, not powder coated. And let me uh, just point out. So when you paint, sometimes you gotta, well, most times you gotta give it a good drying time. Cause if you do it too early, when you put your bolts, cause maybe that's where 
uh, powder cone's a little stronger, it'll wrinkle it. But a little trick I did on this one, I used like a fast clear. So this thing gets like rock hard. So yeah, so no, it, it didn't print or uh, wrinkle any of the paint. So pretty good. Pretty good. All right. Good for now. Success. So I just want to say motors in, and I'm tired. So here we go. Every all the mounts are in, and tomorrow I'm hooking the rest up. I'm going home. It's about five hours to put. Up. No, it's about one hour to put the motor. Four hours to put one bolt. So a little, a little tough, but succeeded. In check it out. All right, tomorrow hook it up, start it up. That's my goal. And then axle seals. I was supposed to do axle seals before I put it in, but I forgot. Cool. There we go. No what? No clacking. Oh, right, I was clacking last time? Yeah. Press the button? No, no, it's on, it's on. Oh, uh oh. Okay. No clacking, everybody. Clack, clack, clack. Yeah. Something smoking. Here? Something smoking. Either. Oh, oh, because my um, the the downpipe's not on because uh, I didn't want to put the bolts until I knew uh, the turbo line wasn't leaking. I should tighten it or. All right, it's been a journey. I'm not gonna lie. All that work, all that work has come to this moment. So we're gonna check for oil leak. It's a super bummer about the axle seal. You can see a little drip right there. Now, but we're not here for that. We're here for the oil pan. So right here, that's powered steering fluid. No problem, it was a little loose. So I tightened it, that's all old oil. That's cool. Red oil, I don't care about. It's the motor oil, the brown oil. So it's a super dangerous what I'm doing, but we're gonna check for an active oil leak. So under here looks good. The culprit spot was in this corner right here. So that thing looks nice and dry. Even if you get all the way in there, you can see in there nice and dry. Don't worry about that yet. Axle seals are on, all the fluids are done. So let's check out the oil pan area. Nice and dry. Remember a long time, it was leaking from here and over here. So that spot is nice and dry. Check her out. Painted valve cover, a lot of, a lot of people say you gotta powder coat them, but I give it a try, put it together really careful. Got the, the MAP manifold in the back. AMS everything, upper intercooler, lower intercooler, piping, intake, front mount. Another brand new front mount too. What's up with AMS? What's with all of this? 
that's not cool I'm gonna redo that and uh, yeah all the fluids everything's bled put a little bit more coolant and she should be good man this car drives great and I think with the bass tune it goes good with the with the boost solenoid so check let's just do some I'm not trying to beat on it, I'm just trying to drive it nice and slow, but like always, Dino Day, I am running late. I am 15 minutes behind, so. Just trying to go with a good, uh, good pace, but I'm excited. Car's running good, not overheating, not smoking. It was a little low on oil, but I put the correct amount, so all good. Sorry for being late. Mr. John is doing the tune today. He does all my tunes, so. <laughs> all right. How you doing? Good, good. How's everything? Good, Greg. Usually I don't bring it with the bumper on, but this one's high. Er. High-ish. <laughs> yeah, high-ish, right? It's probably not supposed to look at. That's cool. It's the it's the new fender liners. You're fine. Too, but I checked it. Let me tell you. But let's see. You can't compare car to car, man, because you know. Just because you had a Wednesday car doesn't mean this one's a Wednesday. Car. <laughs> Dude, are they all different? The are they all different? Yeah, they're all different. Yeah. We see that all the time. You had a car yeah. built on a Monday at least garbage. What did your last car make? The green one. Uh, well, the white one made really high 300s. Okay. Like 360-ish, yeah, 370. Yeah, exactly. the, the green one didn't make it. The only green one made like 330, 340. 330? Okay. That's yeah. the average of life. Everybody was like, why did you post your uh, dyno slip? And I'm like, eh. But I guess anything over 280, I'm happy. Yeah. Keep my uh, my expectations low. <laughs> well, this you built this. So. Yeah. So if you get three, yeah. Do the whole boat. Where are we at? 395, 392 Okay, 319? 392. Okay. Where's the boost at? <laughs> 392, I like that torque. That's a, that's a nice torque. It's a fun torque. 
Did it, did, uh, did, uh, did it knock? Ah. ah, this thing doesn't have zoom. <laughs> How much? 423 horsepower, 426 torque. Oh, it's good. That's fun. And you were the one telling me when you get the horsepower and the torque close together. Yeah. That's that's pretty fun car right there. Yeah. That seems to be a lot. <laughs> Is that like a catastrophic area? It's not knocking. It's a problem. Huh? It's not knocking. That's a good problem. Yeah, it's a good problem. No, no. Let's discuss it. All right. <laughs> Talk to me. Can I vlog it? Is the motor stock? Yeah. The motor stock. I think so. But the... All right. So the 08s to 10s are... I'm telling you, they do something... It's like the old technology. And then I, I've, I've... The 12s... The, oh, so the 08s to 15. 11. He has a 15. The 11 to 15s are different. I know it's the same motor, but I don't know what they do different. My 12 ran so fast. The 2012, the white one. The green ones. It's all right, but... This one, I don't know. Unless they built it and they didn't tell me none, but <laughs> I doubt it. it. I know it has 30,000 miles, so I doubt it's built. Yeah, it's all stuck. Yeah. Some fuel. 418, 412. Okay. Uh, right All right. Very nice. Look at this. Put together by me. Not one boost leak. Not one oil leak. Yeah, we got a 400 horsepower. That was awesome. It's good stuff right there. Good stuff. All right, so day two of driving this car. What a pleasure driving this car. It's very, very smooth. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, so after, this is uh, day two after the dyno. Uh, been driving it. Um, when I got home and I, you know, after the dyno, when I was on the highway, I hit it pretty good and you know it took it and uh, i let it sit and i checked and there's no oil leak so that's great that's a, that's a great thing um but yeah it, it, this is this is beautiful this thing is driving great no check engine lights no smoking no hiccuping everything works so we're gonna keep monitoring it we're gonna keep monitoring it and uh yeah we'll get some content going finish the green one but man it it's a, it, it, it truly is a dream come true. Um, and I was talking to my wife and, and I was telling her, um, you know, every time I go to the dyno, I'd always have to bring mechanics and all that stuff. And it feels good to finally know what I'm doing and, you know, I can rely on myself. So, um, it's, a, it's a good feeling. It really is. So, one, two, 
talk about that and yeah let's get some i'm gonna do some cool stuff let's, uh, let's see what this bad bad girl could do and then that's the end of the road for this and it's probably gonna end up one of them gotta go he's the green one or the purple one so we'll see still making decisions i don't know but it's driving great i just wanted to say just wanted to show you all that